The car in question is... Good morning, YouTube. Sorry, things just completely cut short last night. We, um, we ended up like, you know how I said it was real light? Well, it got real dark real fast, so. Had to bail, and basically, we were putting the jet skis on the trailer and it, when it was dark, and uh, everyone was basically asleep. So, um, the only thing we're doing today is some more jet skiing, and um, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna see the a little bit more. For now, today's agenda, jet skiing. Yay. We love jet skiing. I like jet ski. I'm gonna do my best not to show the car right now. Just because we're on our way to the location. And I don't I don't wanna give it away just yet, because we're on the way to the location where we're gonna do the reveal. You guys are gonna be You're in for a treat, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, so we have come to the exact same location we were at yesterday to do the exact same thing that we did yesterday um, and announce the project build that we've been keeping a secret for only a couple of weeks, but it's exciting nevertheless. So, um, the car in question is the 2000 Subaru Forester S. B -t -t -b? S slash TB. STB. As you can see, it's around coilovers. Um, but other than that, other than coilovers, a few little bits done under the hood, which we'll show in a second, but it's pretty much stock, stock wheels. And originally we were going to use it, um, we were, we were going to buy a couple of cars and for really, really cheap and just kind of almost do top gear style challenges. But Matt went and picked this up. And as you can see, She's in beautiful condition. Interior okay, and get is, the light to... get, Yeah, get the lighting good in there. The point is, we're, uh, we're going to basically transform this thing into... I mean, this the look we're going for is more of like a rally spec look, because it's a Subi. We are going to raise it a little bit, because it's way too low. Um, and it does scrape a little bit, as it is. But the, the look we're going for is almost a rally style look. We're doing wheels. We're probably going to wrap the car as well. But the paint's good. The roof's not great. It's Obviously, this is needs a little bit of work. That doesn't yeah. sound very. It's a solid just metal, which is <laughs> nice. But the rest of the paint's great. It's going to be wrapped. It's going to look pristine. We're doing like headlight tint. We're going to do um, performance-wise. We are transforming this thing and making it. Um, I mean, it's like 200 horsepower right now stock. It's going to be making over 300 horsepower. Um, we're doing turbo we've got a brand new SDI turbo going in an ECU we're doing exhaust full turbo back exhaust it's going to be really a like, competitor to the Supra um, and it should be quite cool and then the idea is that basically when we're done my sort of New Zealand trip once it's over uh, we're gonna auction the car off to, to charity that's basically the idea so this is our project for January and February um, and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty excited. Already as it is, it's like loads of fun. Like if you look, we've already got a little bit done under the hood, um, which we didn't do. How do you open the bonnet? You know where the bonnet is? No. Here we go, Tess Liam, where's the bonnet? I don't know where it is. I think it's like, there you go, next Tess, can you, do you know how to like pop oh, it up? Yeah. Are you a true car person? Oh, I'm a car person. Oh, oh yes. Look at that, professional mechanic. Got the, <laughs> got the hood strut. Figure it out. Oh. Is it like attached? No. What is it like that? Yeah, <laughs> just just get it in the hole, man. There you go. All right, so under the hood, we've got an intake already done. Blower valve. From AliExpress. From AliExpress. Probably. That's going to be replaced, don't worry about that. Intercooler, stock, but most importantly, this is a basically the rear windscreen wiper fluid rerouted through to the front of the car and it sprays cold water into the intercooler better performance you know you like 50 horsepower what honestly you just get like a straight 50 horsepower boost basically the same as nos and that's that's like if you want a, that's a key tip right now if you want to like cheap nos 
you don't even have to go through the whole process of putting a canister in the back of your car and this does the same same thing so yeah just spray water at your intercooler spray water in your intercooler yeah bro what are you talking about man oh here's our coilovers look at them fully adjustable yeah let's try to get them in there those are fully adjustable bad boys so we're gonna raise the car the front i mean if you look at the front fitment the front fitment is not too bad we're gonna put well, the wheels we're doing are much wider so the, the fitment's gonna be a lot better the rear is definitely gonna have to be raised because i mean look at the tuck we got in there whole freaking tires in there so it's quite flush it's more so like the yeah the fitment what do you call it the offset the offset yeah it's we're a gonna, bit it's a bit narrow but that's that's normal for stock cars yeah. that's basically the project that's the idea um yeah and and now we're gonna give some some driving shots of the, the sound One other fantastic, unique, great thing about the Subaru Forester is it's a wagon. We have boot space. We have plenty of it. Yeah. Oh, we probably should clean the boot out before we showed everyone, right? No, nah, no. Nah. Well, we're showing that you can fit loads of stuff in. I mean, these are it's a big bag of microfibers there. No problem at all. So, and you put the back seats down. You can literally fit. We were saying you probably fit a go kart in there. I reckon you could. Can you tell everyone what, what those are? These are Michelin wiper blades. They're the first mile that's going to go on the Subaru Forester. So. How exciting. It's very exciting. These are quality grade wiper blades. Yeah. No squeak, no nothing. It's going to be tip top. As you can see, the hood struts, they are the boot struts. They, they work, the right? Struts, they work. I mean, it's, it's a solid effort to push that back down, but it's not too hard. Rear spoiler. Yeah, that's a bit of downforce right it's, there. No, no, 100%. Do you reckon it's F1 spec? Like, similar downforce to like... Similar level of downforce. Yeah. I think it's a similar level of downforce. Maybe slightly less, you know? With with the amount of time that goes into Formula 1 teams, there's probably a little bit more downforce on their cars, but honestly, I don't think this is far away. And I can tell from experience, it feels high downforce, as we're now going to show you. We have a, uh, a banging sound system as well that comes stock with this car. We're gonna upgrade those. But one of the amazing things is just the, the drivability of this car as it is stock. Well, not quite stock. The drivability is really flawless. Honestly, it doesn't get much better. Apart from when you hit speed bumps. <laughs> speed bumps aren't <laughs> so good. Then we're gonna raise it just a little bit. Oh, we're doing sway bars as well. Sway bars are going in this thing. So not only is the comfort gonna be 10 out of 10, but we're also going to have great cornering stiffness mm. grip. It's going to be good. Doing a, uh, we're going to do new shifter bushings and a short shifter because these ones, I'm not in neutral right now. That's, that is third gear. That looks pristine, mate. That look it brand new. Fifth could be first, could be anything. You know? So we're going to redo those. As long as you go slow, you're good. It's honestly quite cool how like, especially for an old car, because it is 23 years old, it is very like, I mean, everything's really straight, which is what the crazy thing is. So Matt called me and he, he told me like the car's really, really clean, the interior is like super nice, the seats look like they're new, which is ridiculous. Like steering is completely straight. There's no, it's not like left hand down, anything like that. And it drives really, really well. Just with a couple of, downshifts all of a sudden the thing's alive oh a little bit of scraping it's a bit of scraping yeah and then just plop it back in fifth gear it's just a great daily yeah, we don't have to muck around with any of those dynamic suspension let's change the throttle responsiveness none of that just lights up like that just downshift a couple of gears and you're away honestly oh and it just sounds it sounds fast and that's really the most important thing it doesn't really matter how actually fast you're going because right now we're not going very fast but we will be soon 
when the motor's done. What did you just realize? Remember the Subi being parked right here? <laughs> and all the... Yeah, when we parked the Subi, unfortunately, kicked up a little bit of, um, what is that? Just oil. Soot? Oil? Soot. I don't know. So Probably. we're just, we're just flashing our, our jet skis now because we've been out on them. But I'm just take, talking about how much of a process it is for Matt. He's going to take the seat off. He's got this manual plug he's going to put in there. <laughs> It's just a mission, isn't it? And you wait, when I do mine, you'll see how simple it is. Oh. Crack the ski. My water's running. Wait. There we go. There's the water. These are our, uh, our friendly duckies. They come up every single day. My mum normally feeds them, but Miss Hannah's feeding them today. Look at you in your cowboy boots. Oh, Mark's cowboy boots. Oh, look at this weight lifter. Four of the water. Out. Yeah, more, 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 more. Up it. Run. Oh, that's it. I thought it'd blow it up. Chuck us the hose. Thanks, bro. All right, we're just going to walk this thing to the back here. And we're just going to plug it right in. Right in there. Go. I can't do it with one hand. Uh, you want some help? No, 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 wow. we're good. You'll see it is so easy. It's on. So, get ready by the tap. Is it tangled? Because you gotta, you can't block the water, obviously. I get the candy stick. Don't turn it on yet. Just wait. We're not tangled. We're all good. We're flowing. All right. Let me just get the key out. Just get up it. Just open this up. This is our key. We plug it straight in there. Listen to that. Yeah, you can turn the water on. Did you turn it lights? You gotta really crank it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is date night, so I'm gonna go chuck a different shirt on and then we're gonna go out. We have an Italian. Just gonna turn this back off. Flip a neck, man. How much did you turn it on? Oh yeah. 
What are you talking about? It's not good for the ski. It's like a wearing. I'm pretty sure it wears it out though. Any just ski enthusiasts are gonna tell me that I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it sounds cool. Banging off the limiter. Ha ta ta ta! So. This is Fit Check. Good day, man. Okay, let's go. Because we're really, really late. Okay, well, we're back from from date night. We went to an Italian restaurant. It's very nice. Um, and I'm going to wrap this one up here. So, next video will be up in um, probably two days. And it'll be the sort of first mods on the, on the Subi, which will be cool. So... Um, and then I've got some more exciting stuff this weekend. I'm going testing in a go-kart. Um, so, because we've got a race that I'm potentially doing later on this month, next month. Yeah. So, yeah. Until next time.